is in jail tonight after a shocking 911 call. Fernando deputies say Alan Osterhout told them he had just killed his wife, a professor at St. Petersburg College. All new at 11, our Brent Solomon is just back from Hernando County. Brent, any mention of a motive here? You know, deputies don't know why the couple was arguing. What they do know, the suspect here felt awfully bad when he called 911, allegedly telling the operator he had done the most heinous thing he had ever done in his life. Investigators say he admitted to killing his wife. Take a look at your screen right now. You'll see 61-year-old Alan Osterhout, Jr. of Spring Hill. Tonight, he's arrested after Hernando Sheriff's deputies say he shot and killed his wife, 65-year-old Maria Osterhout. It happened at their home here in the Primrose Lane subdivision. When deputies arrived, they say the victim was dead in her bathroom with an obvious injury to her head. She worked at St. Petersburg College in Tarpon Springs for 11 years, teaching web and computer courses. Investigators say they had no problem taking her husband into custody. In fact, deputies say he was waiting for them when they arrived. This was over an argument. We, are, we don't know what the argument was about. And uh, when the deputies got here, he was standing in the front yard. He had already put the gun away in a, in a nightstand, which he advised the dispatcher he had done. And he was standing in the front yard waiting for authorities when they pulled up. Tonight, officials at St. Pete College are reacting. Provost Conferlete Carney telling us Maria was a very loving and warm person. She was dedicated to teaching and caring about students. He says she supported the campus and its projects and helped redesign the college's website. Carney says she will be sorely missed. Tonight, I spoke with one of Osterhout's students who told me she was very knowledgeable, honest, and fair. That's in the student's words. The student also says Osterhout knew how to challenge all of her students. Investigators say they have no history of violence in the Osterhout home. Back to you. Thank you, Brian.